We get down to the New York Stock Exchange. Jim Kramer, back from his uh, visit with the Cowboys. Talk to you, Cowboy. Uh, what do you make of uh, what is a different game this morning, which is Activision Blizzard and Microsoft? Well, I, I... You know, last night, Microsoft said some incredible things about gaming and how they're doing. Uh, it alluded to what this is, but without thinking that it really matters. I thought it was pretty, pretty stark. It was almost as if they knew, look, we may not get this, but look at our gaming. And then uh, Asaya said, listen, our gaming is like the best ever. So I think that Microsoft stock justifiably went up because they don't need it. I know they that sounds strange. They didn't need it. And they, okay, but let's flip it around. Do you think that Activision needs it? There's some people who said that Activision is doing so well, they don't need it. No, they don't need it. I, I don't own Activision. I buy it right here. I, I think that they're, look, of the gaming companies, I know that I, I, I absolutely understand Take Two not doing as well, Electronic Arts not doing as well. They maybe think the gaming business isn't that good. But if you listen to Strauss Zelnick uh, from Take Two, he was saying second half could be good. I think that Activision Blizzard right now is good. So you get, I think you had a really terrific situation. They, Microsoft does not need it. Microsoft, wow. I mean, that was just an unbelievable quarter. And I know First Republic is such a downer that we have to talk about it endlessly. But Microsoft is bigger than First, than well, First we, Republic. We do, we do, though, because uh, Microsoft is much bigger. But I think there's a concern about whether, hate to use the, the R word, not recession, but run. You have the stock now. Let's get uh, First Republic up on the screen if we could. You're well, looking I mean, right now at that stock off 12 percent. That's after it was down 49 percent just yesterday. We're at seven dollars called 709 right now. And the question, I think, is if you are a depositor at this bank and you're watching this, does this change anything? Or do you say, you know what, I'm protected. It's fine. Well, maybe if you're a depositor and, and, and you don't care, maybe you just kind of write off the money. Yeah. I mean, I don't know who stays with them. No bank has ever survived that's lost 50 percent of its deposits. Now, I like to, you know, some people are telling me that they're blackmailing the other companies. I just say, no, they're playing hardball. I'm taking the word blackmail off the table. I just don't think they're in a position to play hardball, if you know what I mean, Jim. Well, I mean, they are, um, you're going to have to pay the FDIC, you're going to have to pay them. I think so. a lot of people would rather pay the FDIC. I have to appreciate I, their scrappiness. You know, they are the rich person's bank, so I know Lennon would right. be so in favor of what's happening. I haven't been in touch with Lennon for a long time, but he was my great-great-uncle, and I never hide that. Uh, Jim, we look forward to seeing you in just a couple minutes. I also want to get your thoughts on Illumina at some point. We had a, a fascinating interview with the CEO there. He of course. made it sound like business is good. Carl Icahn the Holy coming Grail. after him. I love the Holy Grail. It's going to be fascinating. Uh, we will talk to you soon. Thanks. Absolutely.